What's up you guys? Welcome back to another edition of Respawn. I'm Mr. Sark. And I'm Hutch. And what we're doing today is uh, we're cleaning up our act a little. Respawn's gotten a little raw. I mean, we're saying stuff like <laughs> and <laughs> yeah, that one, that one especially. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're just going to, we're going to make this into a family show. We're going to try it out. Let's see what happens. So what we're going to do, our editor is going to help us out with this because there's obviously no way I can stop saying uh, in, an, in one episode. So um, our editor is going to help us censor it out a little bit. And what we want from you guys is leave alternative words for the real bad words in the comments. We're going to pull our favorites. And next episode, we'll see how we sound with your guys' alternatives, right? So instead of saying, um... You, um... Smearing all over your chin. <coughs> shoving my fist up your... <coughs> violently forcing my pinky down your... <coughs> gagging you. Having you vomit on my chest. And then... <coughs> so instead of saying something like that, you may just say, like... Uh, whoopsie. I'm excited to clean up the show a little bit, I gotta be honest. We're gonna shoot for a PG-13 for a change. It's kind of a challenge. Returning a new lead, I can't promise that I'm gonna be able to do it. Yeah, I mean, I literally, I say <laughs> in like every third word, so. That's gonna, be, that's gonna be an issue. You ready to rumble though? Yeah, let's do this. Let's do so, it. first of all, we have Tabe. Who's playing some Geometry Wars in the Pacifism game type, and he's challenging Machinima's own Anthony Rogers to his top score. Geometry Wars is a game that you go back and <laughs> forth. The mouth, I can't even... Don't even worry about it. Okay. I didn't even hear that. I heard like a sheep go, or something. You go back and forth with your friends list all the time. So I'm all about this. Good job, Tim. Anthony already beat you, I think, so get on that. Next up we have Tetra Ninja. This is a guy whose channel was pointed out to me a couple weeks ago and I passed on the word downstairs. Uh, we signed him up for the director's program. He's already cranking out some really awesome videos. This one he's playing some Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. And he's going over like his thoughts on the Nintendo press conference for me and 3. It's a pretty creative way to get your attention uh, with that kind of subject matter. So. This generation seems like the stage we're in is going to be mainly a battle on motion sensing technology. Alright, next up we've got a uh, video from Pros Don't Talk. <laughs> Did you hear that? I can't even say that guy's gamer tag. <laughs> Pros Don't Talk. <laughs> Pros Don't Talk. <laughs> uh, I can't beat him. I can't beat it. It's too fast. Anyway, uh, we've got a video from uh, Pros Don't Talk. <laughs> and he's playing World at War. Did that, one, did that one get through? It didn't get through, did it? Hollywood is good. He is quick. He's uh, clearly watching the show. He's doing a little uh, wish list. He has got a letter out to uh, Treyarch, and uh, he's got a Black Ops wish list over some uh, World of War gameplay. So go check out Pros Don't Talk. <laughs> Wood? God, you're good. He's good. He's good. Um, and the key to making a good gun setup in Black Ops is, I think it's just balance. Alright, the next vid's coming from Ken Burton. He's playing a little of the uh, Medal of Honor beta over on the PS3. We've got some gameplays. They call it beta. 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 Oh yeah, yeah. Like Tweaky from Buck Rogers, remember that? Beta, beta, beta. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. He is awesome. Ken Burton playing a little uh, Medal of Honor Vita, and uh, go check it out. It's a long vid. You get a pretty good idea of uh, what's going on from from Mr. Burton. I picked up an assault class um, and getting killed very easily. <laughs> I actually did a, a breakdown of all the new maps in uh, the Modern Warfare 2 Resurgence map pack, and the last one was Trailer Park. And so, finish, finishing up that series, I made a video on that and I actually invited this beautiful man that you can't see behind the camera uh, to come and talk about what we thought of the map, so... Watch it. Watch it. See, when we were playing Capture the Flag though, which, by the way, I've already mentioned we can't fucking play anymore. Which is retarded. Which is retarded. Optic Nation's got a new video up. Uh, some of their boys are uh, running a 200 uh, to nothing game of headquarters. That's score, not kills. Don't be confused. Some of you people were. Uh, we've got Diesel, Jay, who else we got? Nerve and Carlton. Uh, it's pretty much them just shooting the <laughs> shit, the four of them. 
uh, in a quad commentary. Uh, it's a great way to get to know these guys. Um, they are nasty. Go watch them do some damage in headquarters. I'm actually a new director on Machinima. Just got entered into the Machinima Directors Program, so looking forward to bringing you guys some enjoyable content, as well as making fun of my fellow buddy, Optic Nerves. There's a new episode of Proving Ground Up as well you guys should go check out. Uh, we're wrapping up the pre-E3 challenge, which was a Wolfenstein 3D speed run. Uh, some interesting results. You should go over check it out. Many of you guys remember that the first episode of Camp Hutch featured a guy named APL Fisher who was playing Call of Duty. Uh, he was sniping under free-for-all on Scrapyard and he was tearing it up. Uh, but we mentioned in that game that he, his background, his roots, was in Counter-Strike. And he's actually given us a, a, uh, a commentary over a competitive Counter-Strike match that him and his clan had. Which I think is awesome. We like variety here and so as long as everything's not like 90% Modern Warfare, then, then we're in good shape. So kudos to you, APL. It was an awesome video. But Counter-Strike Source really is one of the most exciting games to play competitively. And I wanted to post it on Machinima because not many people do. And uh, I really think it's a game that deserves uh, more attention. I like watching Counter-Strike games. Me too. Those are fun to watch. I have a dream. I don't know if I shared this with you guys, but I have a dream for Machinima Respawn. Where if somebody types in the name of any game, a video comes up on Respawn for that game. I want one video, at least, of every game ever made. Now, in the last couple episodes of Respawn, I've kind of pointed out a couple vids that are not on our network. You know, it could be a sports vid, could be something on the main channel. Uh, I'm going to do it again, because there is an awesome video up over on the main Machinima channel from DJ Steve Porter, who some of you may know from his uh, work remixing Alan Iverson and doing Slap Chop. I am Vince with Slap Chop, that whole thing. It's that guy doing his magic with Halo 2. Go check it out. It's awesome. It is fucking awesome. Amazingly incredible. It's the coolest <laughs> ever. Yeah. That guy is my <laughs> baby. <dude. laughs> Alright, and one last thing before we let you guys go. Frag Cup 2 is getting rolling, and uh, the app is actually ready to rumble up on Facebook. Get over there, check it out, and we have created a video to help you understand how to enter that bracket challenge for your chance to win $1,000. So get over there, there's a video, link, annotations, all that stuff. Okay guys, be sure to leave us some suggestions, some replacement words so I don't have to say or Yeah. Or I was holding a tube up. That was a <laughs> tube. Like a huge flashlight. Yeah, yeah. A flashlight. God, have you guys tried the flashlight? Have you? Oh, happy dream. <laughs> it feels it feels exactly how I imagine it <laughs> feels like. I tried to f <laughs> a fake vagina once and it didn't fit. I tried using lube and every time I put it on it would go. <laughs> I had a fight with my ex-girlfriend because she was pissed off that I to fake the data, but my friend gave me it as a joke. Yeah. And I'm sitting there in my room. What are you supposed to do? With a fake vagina. Yeah. I'm not gonna have sex with it. Yeah. Have you ever <laughs> between two couch cushions? <laughs>